Hello Libra, this is your November forecast. So let's start out with the fact that we've got a lot of planets at the beginning of the month in this 12th house. So um, Libras, this means that you're going to be wanting to do some inner work. You're going to want to have some quiet space. Venus and Mars here in this 12th house, this is a wonderful time for exploring anything spiritual, anything involving astrology, numerology, metaphysics, yoga, vibrational healing, all the unseen things. The 12th house is very much unseen and it's also a very good time for doing any kind of research and thinking about the things that you'd like to create. Not necessarily taking the action yet, because that's coming soon and it will come this month. So on the third of the month, we've got Mercury joining the Sun in this second house of money. Mercury and Sun together, uh, shining a light, lovely Libras on your finances. So this is a great time to um, look at your finances. There could be some good things happening financially. Good time to be um, studying your finances. It's a good time to communicate new ideas that you've got to do with finances. We've got to get much more creative financially now as technology changes, as our economies are changing. We're moving into much more of a sharing economy. And of course, Libras, you love that because Libra is all about how can I share? You put your hand out and you want somebody else to take your hand. So this is very much about developing your finances and on the 11th of the month, we've got a new moon happening as well in this second house of money. So this is great uh, uh, new opportunities financially, maybe a new business opportunity, a new opportunity to earn money in a different way, but or it's just some good news financially for you. And also with a new moon in that second house, it's a good time to look at your values. Maybe it's time to reassess your values. Yes, I mean, sometimes there are times in our lives when we're going after money and money's really important, but then somehow that changes. And then we want deep friendships or we want desperately to have a child or we want a romantic relationship. And, and, and those values change. And when a new moon comes into that second house, good time to look at your values and to see that you're living your life in accordance with what is important to you. Now on the 13th, sorry, so on the 9th of November, we've got the Venus, your lovely ruler, coming into your sign, Libras. What could be nicer? You're going to be more charming. People are going to be more receptive to you. Any ideas that you want to get over, any communication that needs to be shared. This Venus is going to make you popular. If you're looking for a relationship with Venus in your sign, it means that you're going to be very attractive to people, people generally. And you're probably going to be able to get your own way quite easily and smoothly and diplomatically. And on the 11th of the month, Mars gives you a nice boost by coming into your first house. So this should be a boost of energy, a boost of feeling, yes, I've got some get up and go. Um, I'm going to do this and that and the other. And you may find yourself with Mars in your first house really rather busy. For those of you looking for a relationship, Venus and Mars together, you couldn't ask for better. So if that's what you're looking for, chances are you'll be able to create it, of course, if you go after it and really actually want that. On the 21st of the month, we've got Mercury joining Saturn into your third house. And on the 23rd, the Sun also moves into this third house. This is the house of communications. So this is a wonderful time for any kind of communications. And with Saturn there, it makes it very good for business types of communications. It's a really good time for some serious study. Mercury and Saturn together is really good for focusing your mind, focusing your intentions. It's also really rather good for um, teaching, for sharing information of any kind. Really good time for that for you um, towards the latter part of this month, lovely Libras. 
And on the 25th of the month, we've got a full moon happening in your ninth house. Full moon shining on a light on everything to do with your spiritual journey. Yes, there could be a culmination, maybe some people you've wanted to meet, maybe some books you've wanted to read, a film, and suddenly a light bulb goes off. It's like, wow, now I have a greater understanding about death or I have a greater understanding about the meaning of my life. Could be very powerful. It could equally mean that you've decided to go on a trip, um, a trip to somewhere you've always wanted to go to. That too. Um, it could also mean um, that you so there's a resolution of, of a court case. Anything to do with something legal could be resolved uh, during this time. Or the full moon may shine its light and show you where you need to move with respect to anything in the legal arena. So we're still under this um, Neptune square, waning square between Saturn and Neptune from your sixth to your third. So um, there's a possibility that um, good intentions for an exercise regime or doing something may be dissolving a little. So you may have to really set intention again and again if you're working with your physical body in some way. And also um, you may find that a job you've been looking for maybe or working in, maybe that dissolves as well and don't forget one door closes another door opens something better will come through that door you just have to have faith especially with the full moon in that ninth house that that will happen for you lovely Libras so enjoy Venus your ruler in your sign and I wish you a very wonderful month thank you for co for commenting subscribing sharing and don't forget to check out your 2016 forecasts. Bye for now.